I was born uh, April 18, 1953, grew up in Jacques Cartier City, Longueuil, uh, South Shore, Montreal. Longueuil! Longueuil! Okay, uh, anyways, went to Lithuanian and English schools. Then he goes, he was active in Lithuanian, okay, there's a whole list here, you can see it on the walls, I think. <laughs> he got married in 1983, lived in Brassard and La Salle, had two boys, Antanas and Paulus, 26 and 24 years old. Divorced in 2007 and is now living with Loretta and her two children in Shadow Gay. Right? <laughs> Shadow Gay? Okay, did a bit of traveling, Lithuania twice, parts of Europe, Caribbean, and all over North America. All over. Played uh, musical instruments, piano, accordion, and, ev and even organ. Uh, loves to record live music, especially choir. He has, he has a vast collection, I know that. Uh, basically a simple life, and he has, uh, a well, he has two passions, one for beautiful women, and then the other passion makes his beautiful women jealous, he has a passion for buses. <laughs> so, anyways, he loves to drive cars, bicycles, and a computer. Facebook. What's Facebook? Boring! <laughs> okay, uh, I just want to just say something about uh, my friendship with Antanas. Antanas and I are good friends. He's, he's responsible for getting me involved in the Montreal Lithuanian community 12 years ago, and I'm very grateful. It was a turning point in my life. However, he got me in under false pretenses uh, with the choirs. I had moved to Montreal because of a job, and uh, a relative in Toronto asked me to deliver a package to Pone Markunine, who, uh, who sang in the Ausruvartu uh, Parapios choir. So anyhow, so I come down to the, I found where the church was, I come down, I, uh, somebody tells me how to get to the choir loft. I come up there, and this guy comes up, he says, who are you? <laughs> and I, I go, I start explaining, he says, oh, Labas, Labas, I'm Antanas Mitzkus, I'm the head of the choir, yes, yes, I know her, come here, come here, I'll, I'll introduce you. So he, he points me out to her, I pan, hand over the package, and then Antanas goes, well, why don't you just stay for the, here, yeah, are you staying for the mass? I go, yeah, we'll stay here, in the, in the choir loft. Okay. Then after, uh, after the, uh, the mass finished, the Thomas comes up and says, So, Aldi, what did you think of the choir? I go, it's fantastic. You, know, you guys sing really well. I like the choice of music. So he goes, well, can you, what, how about you joining? I go, well, Anton, I don't have a very good voice, and I got a bit of a phobia about singing. So he says, ah, doesn't matter. What, what range are you? Like bass, tenor? I go, well, I used to sing bass in high school, but I don't know. He says, Lorinas, our organist, is, is, uh, has got a few minutes. Go over there and have him uh, check you out. And I go, well, look, look, I'm telling you, I can't. You know, I, I just told you, I have a phobia. He says, look, everybody in the church is gone. It's just me, you, Lorinas, and Harry. And I have to go talk to Harry about something. It's just you and Lorinas, just go. So I go down, I go to uh, Lorinas, and he has me try out a few things. And then I come back to Antanas, and Antanas goes, what did he say? And he said, well, he said, uh, it's a bit of a stretch, but I can sing tenor. Great! And, and then Antanas goes, you know, i got a great idea. We are trying to revive the men's octet and we're short a tenor. Do you think you, you would like to join this? I go, Antanas, I just finished telling you I don't have a good voice. He said, what are you talking about? I, I, what did Lorena say? I go, well, I didn't ask him that. He says, okay, I'm going to go talk to him. So Antanas goes over and starts talking to Lorenas, and Harry's over there too, right? And they're talking in French. And at that time, I, did, I didn't know much French. I barely know any now, but I didn't know anything, right? So blah, 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 blah. And then Antanas comes back, he says, Algi, you have nothing to worry about. Lorena says, you have a freestyle about your singing, and, and you sing, and there's a lot of raw passion in, in, in the way you sing. So that's... So from then on, I joined the, all the, the choir and a bunch of things, and it's been a very memorable thing, uh, experience. But a couple of years down the line, I started thinking, you know, I thought back to that moment, and I thought, uh, freestyle? Raw passion? <laughs> Lorinus only asked me to sing scales. <laughs> so next time I saw Harry, I go, Harry, do you remember when uh, I joined the choir? Like, I came up that time, to, the first time, to the choir loft, and... Uh, uh, Antanas uh, was, trying, uh, was trying to get me to join the uh, men's octet. He says, yeah. And he went to talk to Lorinus about it. Yeah, you were standing right there, right? Yeah. What did they actually say? Harry looks at me and says, you really want to know? <laughs> I go, yes. Uh, okay, French or English? I go, tell me in French. I want to know exactly. 
Antoine dit, Laurent, euh, je pense que Algis euh, devrait se joindre le octet, le notre octet. Uh, on, a, on a besoin de ténor. Et uh, Laurent a, a dit, oh mon Dieu Antoine, je ne sais pas. Pourquoi? Laurent a répondu, au début, il n'est ne pas vrai ténor. Deuxième, il ne peut pas bien maintenir le ton. Et de plus, quand il, quand il chante, il sonne comme un chat en chaleur. <laughs> so that's what Tony meant by uh, raw passion. And uh, so anyways, I've been waiting uh, for about seven years to get even with Tony for this. And I figured the best way to do it is at, at an event like this, with all his friends there, I'm going to sing him, a, sing him a song. Algis, Algis, Algis. You know, he sent me.